Hello everyone. Um, happy Monday to you. Um, I mentioned last week when I made um, my steampunk mini album that I was going to make another album and I did and I used the Graphics 45 New Ladies Diary paper. It's really really beautiful paper. I'll show you some of it. Well this is my scraps. <laughs> show you some of these papers. There's three each. This is the 8 by 8 page or um, paper stack and uh, I used several different papers from it as you'll see and it's really nice really beautiful <laughs> a lot of different pieces left over Some really nice pages as graphics 45 always does and they never disappoint and there's one page there that's a little bit borders and stuff so um, let me show you what I did what I made this is the um, front page and on the on the big ring I put it together with one big ring and I used a lot of different fibers and uh, let's see I used a Tim Holtz tassel there and a chain that I picked up from somewhere this is a vintage little fairy right there um, some beads on a string another faceted gem just you know some little things let's see if you can see that one just different little things put together to make that kind of fancy. Okay, and start with the first page here. And I put a crocheted flower and some uh, resin flowers on there. And, um, you know, I think I had another flower and it may have fallen off. I took it with me to go teach today, so I may have lost a flower on there. So I usually do things in odd numbers. And uh, this is a a set that has a die and also a stamp. Let me get that. Sorry, I should have brought it with me to begin with. It's um, by Hero Arts. Well, that's one of them. That's not it. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, my apologies. This is a really nice stamp set and die cut set. I believe it's by Hero Arts. And uh, you get the stamps. And you also get the dies. So, all together. It's easy to use. They have several of those. And I put her up on some uh, foam tape. And now the next page is the other part of that uh, stamp and die cut. And these are some flat back pearls that I just kind of threw some uh, latte alcohol ink on. And it didn't get on there evenly and I was going to just kind of toss them out and then I decided I kind of liked it that way. So I used them. This is uh, one of the Graphic 45 stamps uh, that comes I think with Old Curiosity Shop. Okay, and then the next page, I use some of Tim Holtz's uh, stick pins and a Maya Road stick pin. And here I uh, use the button and uh, cut some of the border pages and pop that up. And for this, I used a Spellbinders die set of uh, nested teacups and I used the smallest one and I put um, rock, clear rock candy stickles over it to kind of make it shine a little bit like to look like glass okay and then this page is the coolest page of all I used uh, Tim Holtz new matchbook die and I used the smallest one and 
I covered it with um, the paper from the Lady's Diary and I also stuck one of the, the Movers and Shapers mini fans on it that I had cut out of some uh, gold. I think it's out of grunge board with some gold on it. And then I took some small tags and I cut them down to, to fit in there, put them on a chain, and these are, this is the backs, and I just used some of the, the border page on there, and then I left the other sides blank for some journaling or some small pictures there, and then just tucked it all into this matchbook die <coughs> and closed it. And I had a lot of fun making that. And then this page. This is a uh, die cut that had come with something else that I had. And I just put some, uh, I think it's Victorian Velvet Distress Ink over top of that. And um, just a, a charm I had. And this paper clip is by Mel Melody Ross. And then this page, uh, these two paper clips are by Maya Road. And then the last page, I used a stick pen. I believe it's um, Maya Road. And then these are some rolled roses from the Sizzix uh, rolled rose die. So I had a lot of fun. Um, it took me mm, three or four hours to do. Not really long, just an evening. I didn't get started until kind of late last night. And I finished it all except for, for the fibers and ribbons and things. And I did that in about an hour tonight. So I hope you'll consider um, making one of these. You know, I'm not sure if I want to leave this thing in the hat pin. I think I'm going to take that out and just leave that be a hat pin. Because I think it's too busy with it. So there I think that works better as a hat pin so you know consider making some of these albums They're, it's just a chipboard and a ring and you can do a whole lot of things with them and give them as gifts and they really people just love them and it's a part of you so um, and graphic 45 papers really lends itself nicely to this kind of um, piece make this kind of work so uh, you want to get you uh, this die as soon as you can you, it does make a wider longer one uh, spellbinders teacups dies are nice and the hero arts stamps and dies are also nice so and of course I you know I use the the normal um, distress inks to ink around my edges and things like that and to give it an aged look so this is something that you can do very easily and I hope you'll try it and try out this too. Thanks.